FOMO or fear of missing out is a big problem in trading and especially this is a big problem in trading for beginner trader where they end up buying a stock which is very extended and then as soon as they buy the stock starts going correcting or goes into a pullback mode. So how to avoid FOMO and what really creates FOMO? Now one of the reasons why you will have a FOMO is because if you do not have a clearly defined setup. If you have a clearly defined setup and if that setup has criteria or conditions attached to it, then it is much easier to avoid FOMO. So what kind of setups you should be looking at to avoid FOMO? One of the key thing if you want to avoid FOMO is that you should buy a stock which is not up three days or four days or five days in a row. If a stock is up four or five days in a row, then what happens is it has already made a swing move and it is due for some sort of a pullback or a correction. So let's go to TC2000 and look at some of the things which you can do to avoid FOMO and how you can develop a setup where to, which will allow you to decrease FOMO. So now if you look at like say Tesla and if you buy Tesla here, what is going to happen is the Tesla move started from here and the move is already up almost 27%. So if a move is already up 27% and then you buy it, you might end up buying right at the top of this move. And this becomes even a bigger problem. If Tesla is gapping up today and you buy it, then that is the kind of entry which gets you into trouble. And I see a lot of time new traders, uh, or those who do not have enough experience buying setups like this. Now instead of buying a setup like this, if you buy a setup something like this, now in this particular case the stock made a move and now it had a four or five days of pullback and yesterday if you bought it, that is the right buy point because in this particular case what you did was you are buying after a pullback. So this is probably a start of a, a new swing move. So if you want to avoid FOMO, Try and buy a setup which has basically not say here Shopify had a correction and after a correction it is breaking out. So something which is breaking out after a correction is a better setup or something which has gone sideways and then it is breaking out is a break, better setup. Here Lemonade made a move, is gone sideways, now breaking out. So one of the conditions which you need to look for if you want to avoid FOMO is to buy from a consolidation or buy from a pullback or if you're one of the believers in moving averages, buy stocks which are closer to a moving average than stocks which have gone up significantly above a moving average. So if you're using a 10 day or 20 day moving average, the stock, the distance between the stock and the moving average should not be very big when buying. And the other reason why there is FOMO is that people consume news or they consume celebrities. And there are people who come in on television or CNBC or on Twitter who will say, oh, this is a good stock. And then like and people will go and buy that without looking at a setup. In order to avoid this problem of buying based on somebody's rep uh, recommendation or like say somebody in the office says, hey, you didn't buy Tesla, so you go and buy Tesla and then you rule the fact that you, look and you didn't buy it at the right time. The best solution to avoiding FOMO is to create a setup which basically buys stocks at the right time. And this involves, and this is one of the reasons why newer traders have so much problem with FOMO and experienced traders don't have problem with FOMO. Uh, because the difference between a new trader and experienced trader is experienced traders have found their setup and when they decide to buy a setup, they will have a setup conditions. Like say I have a setup conditions whenever I am buying a stock that a stock should not be up three days in a row, uh, two days in a row. So if a stock is up two days in a row, what it tells me is the stock has already made, started its swing and this is not ideal buy point or I have another condition which is the day prior to the breakout day, if I'm buying today, the day prior to that should be either a negative day or a very narrow range day. Now that is again another way of looking at like in a setup 
condition whereby uh, you are not going to buy an extended stock. Uh, whenever I am doing uh, like an I have a setup called episodic pivot, and when I am doing episodic pivot, what I am looking for is I am looking for a stock which is not extended. So one of the condition for me to buy an episodic pivot is a stock which is neglected in price. That means the stock has been basing or not going up for three to six months, ideally three to six months or sometimes like even uh, more than that period. So when you buy things, when they are starting out, then you're not suffering from FOMO. When you buy things which are of three, four, five days up, then you're suffering from FOMO. The other reason why people suffer from FOMO is that they are consuming the story of the stock. The stocks have a story attached to them and some stories are more attractive like currently AI stocks have a story attached to it or a Bitcoin stocks have a story attached to them. So as a result of that, if the story becomes very popular and it like and it goes everywhere on TikTok or it goes, then this feeling comes in in people's mind that they must get into it somehow. This is like, an, I know um, during the Bitcoin craze a couple of years ago or one and a half years ago, two years ago, Everybody I was meeting were asking me about Bitcoin. So much so I went uh, to for a blood test and the person taking out my blood, she's asking me, what do you do? I said, I do trading. She said, she started talking about Bitcoin and how her husband is planning to buy Bitcoin. And when people did that, that was the top. So anything which is very popular, which is in news and somebody is telling you to buy, probably is... Uh, the time to buy it was when it was unknown or so nobody was buying or you had not heard of it. So FOMO is a big problem because when you do FOMO, uh, as soon as you enter, the stock starts correcting and as a result of that, you lose confidence, you lose your money and it is just not a right strategy and it is not a, just a right setup. So design your setups in such a way that they are buying at the start up a swing and do not do setups where you are buying something which is far extended from a moving average, short term moving average, uh, and something which is like in a basically up three, four, five days, or something which is even gapping up. Like, say, something is gapping up 30 percent, a lot of time the additional percentage move in it is likely to be capped because those big gaps tend to have a pullback. So Avoiding FOMO is the first challenge new traders need to get over and once you do that you will find life becomes easier.